Hello, Disney 5 gamers! Today we are watching some more Koa. Specifically, we are watching CN Mainland Day 2. I believe we're gonna be watching the first two sets. I'm pretty excited to watch more Koa. Now, before we get into it, I actually only have to open two more ranked treasures to get a guaranteed A tier here. And I actually do have two ranked treasures right here. So I'm either going to get the Bonbon bon accessory, which I do not want, or I'm gonna get the forward accessory, which I do want. Let's see which one we get. Come on, forward accessory, not Bonbon, bon, not Bonbon, bon, not Bonbon. Bon. Hey, we got the forward accessory, let's go! That's what I wanted, dude. That is what I wanted. And before we get into it, I also have to check out the Arnon Puppets Day... Who the heck? Mechanic, I'm guessing? It is. Oh, Tracy. Whoa, she's there. Today we have Puppet Tracy. I haven't really seen the survivors at all. I I'm pretty sure they've only really advertised the hunters. The young genius with a passion for machinery. What surprises does she have in store for us today? Oh, wow, you gave us a friendship letter. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate it. All right, well, there's day four. Now let's get into the matches. All right, for our first set, we've got ACT versus YS here. Uh, ignore the fact that I completely forgot to uh, record the uh, audio for the intro. I apologize for that, but we, we got our audio now. Now we're going to see Opera Singer going up against the Wildling Patient Perfumer and the Coordinator. Uh, Opera with the standard Detention, Blink, and Trump card. Uh, the other survivors, let's take a look. See, we got Borrowed Time Tide Turner on the Wildling. Uh, borrowed Time Knee Jerk on Coordinator and Perfumer. And then Tide Knee Jerk on the uh, the Patient here. So, you know, a, a double double Tide, uh, a couple, or a one build with uh, no BT. Usually you see one or two builds with no BT, uh, I guess an Opera Singer. Although, somewhat recently, there's been a lot of teams that have just had, uh, you know, maybe like... Uh, uh, like a full team of like borrowed time knee jerk with one person having tied it, those are like the teammates or I guess the teams that are very very confident in their kiting skills against opera singer but those who are not as uh, confident those who want a little bit more safety will uh, have a bit more of the riskier builds with like no no BT and whatnot so we're gonna see coordinator here she actually has a completely open area to shoot in here um, that's probably why she's staying out in the open there, there's two reasons why uh, one she can shoot her gun freely and two opera singer um cannot dash there there's nowhere for her to dash she has to just completely walk so it, it, it can be pretty good to just walk in a straight line in fact if i was the coordinator i would have honestly just gone still back to the straight line because there was nowhere for opera to go i would have gone all the way back to island um because now here she can just catch up because she has the shadows to work with now um will you get on the tram let's see will you get on the tram um Honestly, the tram would probably... Yep, in hindsight, getting on the tram was better. If you got on the tram there, she actually would have survived longer. Not much longer, mind you, but would have got a, a, would, would have uh, helped. Honestly, maybe the Wildling could have shoved the Opera Singer away from uh, where the Coordinator would have got off as well, so she wouldn't be able to just like kind of immediately snipe her. I feel like there was a chance of that happening. Otherwise, I, I, I'm honestly not so sure. But yeah, I, I don't know if I completely agree with the uh, the coordinator's routing because if you went back all the way to Island, Opera would have had to like go to the wall and she wouldn't have been able to dash properly. And she doesn't, she didn't have presence yet, so she couldn't uh, use her cape. And Wildling is kind of just buying some time here near the area, just riding on his boar. Finally gonna start coming on in here. Coordinator does have a decently long share time to work with, but you're feeding presence to the Opera Singer. Be careful now. Just gonna go for the swing. Yep, just goes for the swing. There's the Tide Turner. And Core just runs away. And she's probably gonna get farmed, die in a corner. And that is just the main strategy. Don't jump. Why are we mind gaming the pallet? Just, just, just die in a corner. Okay, okay, and okay. Oh, wow, that actually worked. <laughs> I'm surprised. I don't know why she just didn't blink there. Like, now, now she's gonna kite longer than tide. Okay, surely, surely we see a blink here. Surely we see blink, blink. Ooh, she predicted it too. She actually predicted it, but she wasn't quick enough. Dang. That was salt. That was salt. If that was like anyone else who couldn't attack as fast, that that probably uh, that that, that could have uh, been a missed blink. But yeah, that, that that's a solid kite so far. That's a solid kite. Two ciphers are done. Progress on a lot of them. Uh, next up, coming in should be the patient here. Uh, he did slow vault down. He does have a hook to work with. Kind of slide on in, and Opera's like, hmm, I thought I saw somebody. Where'd they go? Are they? They can probably. Hmm. Looking at the ciphers. Okay, he's flying on through. There, go, There's the hit, there's the hit. I don't think this is a draw. I think the Cyphers are too slow for a draw. Oh, she's gonna go for a double down. Yeah, this is definitely not a draw anymore. This is definitely not a draw. I, I'd, I'd say this is a one escape. I'd say this is a one escape. Again, if you can get one out versus an opera, that's honestly fine. The biggest goal, I've said it once, I've said, I'll say it again a thousand times. The biggest goal against Opera Singer is just to not get 4K'd. Because 4K is, is really, really hard to come back from. A 3K is manageable, difficult, but manageable. Um, you just really don't want to get 4K'd. And it, it, I don't think this should be a 4K here because they do have ciphers. 
Um, it, it should be a 3k though, most likely. Because, yeah, patient is down, nobody's decoding. And they have one cypher at 50, so they, they can draw this, they can draw this. Um, but she just has to play for the cypher now. She literally just goes for the cypher, yeah. She just, she just cuts them off the cypher, force, force them to go out somewhere else. Yep, he's on Pumbaa now. So that, that's the other thing. Now, now that he's committed to Pumbaa, um, he has to just stay on Pumbaa. So she either goes up to the cypher and forces him out or goes toward the patient at uh, at Island. So it looks like she's actually going to opt to chase the Wildling and not the person on the cypher for some reason. Uh, the Spurs are playing this well. I'm not sure why she's not looking at the Island cypher because that thing's about to be primed if she like waits too long. Um, yeah, the last person you want to chase is the perfect. Yeah, go go to island. Go to island. You know somebody's over there. Go go to it. Just go to it. Just go to it. Get that patient off. You know he has no self heal. You can hit him and he stays down. Just just force him down. Force him down. Yep. Force that. Force him down. Okay, going around. She has shadows. Shadows. Shadow. Shadow. No. No. No shadow. Breaks the pallet. Oh, and now he's gonna get this. I, I would have just shadowed there. Okay. Now she's got cape. And now they're double rushing the other cypher. Okay, now they, they draw this. Never mind, they draw this. They draw this. Opera spent way too long chasing nobody when she should have been going on the patient. I don't think she saw the patient was working on island or something. Because like the thing is, you can get patient down, and you don't even have to chair him because he has no self heal. He has no self heal, and I, I'm pretty sure you would know he has no self heal because how how far the cyphers are along. Let's see. Oh, misses the hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. She needs to get somebody in this chair. She needs to get somebody in this chair. That both cyphers are really really close. You can leave the perfumer up there. The perfumer can actually stall this out. She just goes perfume, continues working on Cypher, and then you can't do anything. Yep. Oh, she actually didn't use perfume. Interesting. I'm surprised. Uh, I guess she wants to... Oh, no, she did, use, she did use perfume. Never mind. I guess I just didn't see it. Okay, yeah, so Cypher... Cyphers are both really, really close. They're kind of... They're, like, they're, they're both playing non-committal. I guess no. I guess, I guess Opera's really not committing to anybody. I, I guess she doesn't want to commit, but, like, I don't know what she wants. Like, ideally, you get somebody down... That isn't the perfumer, right? Now, now, now the patient is gonna start, you know, getting some items. Um, Wilding is gonna go back up to the cipher. Like the, the the one person who you shouldn't be chasing here is the perfumer because it's gonna take her two hits to go down. And now the cipher is basically primed. And I don't think I don't think they're gonna pop here. Will they just pop? I, I don't. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Um, but yeah, now now if if you could have got anybody else down before the cipher was ready, you could have at least put them in the chair and at least like had a chair start. But now now none of these uh. None of these survivors have seen the chair. And yeah, she just kind of pallets to him. Maybe trying to force out a blink here so she can't TP. Does she blink? Does she blink? No, she TP. Okay, there. Do we see a blink? Blink, blink. Oh, she just TPs. She just TPs. And this is on the wildling, though. He's got he's got boar. He's got boar. Yup. Gets on boar. Gets on boar. Hop on through. Hops back through. Doesn't hit the boar. Doesn't hit the boar. Oh, Pumba. Wait, he's actually getting kind of close to the... Nah, he can't make that. He can't make that. He gets on tram to waste time. Wait, he can get off on tram right near that? Nah, she'll know. She'll know. She, she knows where to go. She knows where to go. Yep, she knows where to go. Yep. I, okay, that, that guarantees the tie, though. That, that just guarantees... He, he just got on there to guarantee the tie. Yep. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's just waiting for his death, basically. And get off, and... Oh! Oh, she kind of missed there. But yeah, there, there is no way for him to get dungeon. Still, GG's. Next match, it's round one, second half. We're going to see Opera Singer once again, of course. And it's going to be Mercenary, Embalmer, uh, Gardener, and Acrobat. We're going to see, yeah, Blink Detention, Trump Card on the Opera Singer. Pretty much everything that you need. And we're going to see Borrow Time uh, tied, I believe, on both Mercenary and the Gardener. Yeah, the Gardener, the Gardener. It zoomed out. I was like, that was the Gardener, right? Uh, uses Firebomb to seal the dash. Good stuff, good stuff. We see Borrowed Time Knee Jerk on the uh, Acrobat as well as the Embalmer. So a full team with Borrowed Time is quite interesting. Uh, I guess they're fine to go with this because um, right now they, they can just play for like a draw, I guess. Because I know they don't have to play for a draw because they just got a draw. So they, they can they can play like pretty freely here. As I guess as long as they don't... Um, as, long, as long as they don't get a... Uh, Three escaped? No, four, three K'd? I, I, I'm forgetting, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> okay, Tram is in the way. He uses a little interaction bomb there. Yep, there we go, there we go. Yeah, no, I, I think I think YS is just doing really, really nice right now. Um, Cause they're Hunter to get the draw and that's a miss blink. That's just a straight up miss blink. You get, <laughs> I don't think you can hear it cause I keep the audio pretty low, but the audience just went, aw. <laughs> they're like, oh man, not the miss blink. That's unfortunate. That is, that is unfortunate. Um, that is indeed unfortunate. Actually, wait, no, yeah, y, YS here is actually in the better, uh, 
position. Yeah, because YS is the one who... Oh, no. No, ACT is in the better position. I'm stupid, bro. Okay. I, I don't know why my brain is not working. No, y YS is in the worst position here. They're in the worst position. Because the thing is, ACT... Um, they got a they got a draw against an opera. So now if they at least if they, if they just get like a three k, they're chilling. They they are chilling because they, they don't want to get a draw. They don't want to get a draw here. They do not want to get a draw. Um, okay, so we hit with the mercenary. And how how is Acrobat gonna try and rebound? Is he just die in a corner or are we actually gonna like? Okay, now now he's gonna die in a corner. Yep, just die all the way from all the way this uh, all, all the way from all the ciphers. And this the honestly the uh, the cipher box is looking pretty similar to the last game. Um, and the thing is, they also do have double tide. He dies off in a corner, just like you want. Now the gardener's gonna position herself coming in for the rescue. But yeah, li like I said, these these um, these ciphers are looking pretty good. And you can just kind of stall it out here. Gardener can come on in. She has the bubble to work with as well. Yup, yup. They're doing what they gotta do, dude. They're doing what they gotta do. Lady Truth trying to sneak on in here. She's being sneaky, rather sneaky. Oh wait, are they not gonna rescue? No, you better rescue. Okay, yeah, she's coming in, she's coming in. She's coming in, here's the bubble, here's the bubble. Yup, bubble time, bubble time. She's gonna try and body block it, body block it, body block the bubble. Okay, still makes it though, still makes it. Hits the acrobat, okay, yeah, buddy, go die. Just just go die in a corner, yep. Fire bomber, just go die in a corner, yup. That's what you gotta do. Die, die away as far away from the chair as possible. As far away from the chair as possible. Oh wait, 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 Gardner can, Gardner can do some, some, some funny. But wait, there's a there's a chair in graveyard, so don't break it. Unless wait, is that chair already broken? Oh, she's gonna go repair it. Now, but he's pretty close to the chair in graveyard. Can she break it in time? Let's see. She actually might be able to. Hold on. Oh my gosh, Garner chair breaking! Garner chair breaking! Yes! Garner chair breaking shenanigans! It's buying time! It's buying time! Now, can he struggle free though? Is a question. Can he struggle free? Bubble, bubble. Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. She's gonna start working on it, gonna start working on it. Okay, okay, started, started. And yep, and now he's just crawling away. Yo, this is actually so good. Oh, Garner Harassment. <laughs> yep, yep, now you break the chair, now you break the chair. Oh, she can't finish it though, she can't. It doesn't matter, she doesn't need to finish it because the Cypher, oh my gosh, the Cypher. Yo, it's primed. Pop, there we go, and a full team with BT. Yo, the Gardener. She actually harassed that out, that's crazy. Oh man, when there's no when there's no deep chair in that area, oh my gosh, that can probably be so frustrating. Wait, she's gonna blink here? Not even a blink. She probably wants to get him down and then TP. Nah. Oh, oh you vaulted into. Mm. Yikes. He didn't have any bombs, so he didn't have any bombs. So we could see just TP here. TP. TP. Nope. No. Okay, that's it. That's it. Why are they running away? The gate's open. Oh, is Garner gonna head for dungeon? Oh, she knows. She knows. She knows. She knows, she knows. She can bubble, she can bubble to dungeon. She can bubble to dungeon. Oh, Opera didn't even TP back. Okay, she didn't even TP back. Yep, there we go. Dang, good stuff to YS. They actually kind of needed that. Draw in a 1K, interesting. Onward to round two. First half, we're going to see the Gamekeeper coming out here, going up against the Mercenary, Psychologist, Cheerleader, and the Antiquarian. Pretty hype team, honestly. This is a pretty, well, half of it is hype, honestly, for the survivors. Uh, but Bainster is going to be blink, uh, blinking. <laughs> well, he really does have blink. He's going to be bringing the Detention Trump card and the Blinkity Blink. We've got uh, Borrow Time Flywheel on the Cheerleader and Antiquarian, and then Borrow Time Knee Jerk Psych. Bar time tied on the mercenary. Looks like he's actually gonna be opting to chase the chitter first. She's just beep beeping away. She's like, nope, I don't wanna deal with that. I don't wanna be even the near him. She's beep beeping all the way to the coaster, bro. She's like, nope, I'm not dealing with this, bro. I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this. And the thing is, she's free to do so because now, guess what? Her beep beeps recharge. They just recharge. So it's like she avoids first kite. Oh my gosh, yep. Yeah. That's that's a thing. That's a thing, yep. Yeah. For those who don't know, um, on the, the, these little carousel things, Bane hooks, his hook just goes through it. It just goes through it. So if you're on the other side, if you're trying to like, oh, I'll just go, you know, behind the little carousel. Nope, not, doesn't work. Doesn't work, doesn't work. And Boop gets caught again, because she literally can't do anything. She's at Cypher Bridge, dude. She can't do anything. And honestly, it's it's kind of rough because, uh, is she just dead? Dude, she might just be, she's literally just doing running in a straight line gaming. Blink is up, blink is up. Okay. Oh, but he, he didn't think about the Antiquarian, though. He didn't think about the Antiquarian. He did not think about the Antiquarian. Uh, did he drop a trap there? No, I don't, I don't even know what happened there. Um, okay, that's going to extend the kite ever so slightly, but... 
Antiquarian harassment again. Okay, okay. She's trying to keep this first kite alive, but it, they're harassing at five. Huh? And it still hits? Bro, Bane is such a hacker, bro. He's on a different level. Why does that still hit? That's so cheap. That's so cheap, dude. What is that? Oh, and then the blink, dude. That's so cheap. He's so far away and on a different elevation, yet that still hits. Dude, Hook is so jank, bro. I didn't know it worked like that. That's so jank. You would think if you're on a different elevation, then like... I don't know, man. I don't know. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. <sighs> okay, Mercenary does elbow pad on in. And, yep, takes the hit. Who got healed? Wait, what? Psych is... Oh, no, never mind. I thought for a second I thought Psych whistled to somebody, but no, she's she was she was the one at half. Okay. And to cry and look out. Okay, stun. First stun, first stun. Still has a good amount of flute left. Still has a good amount of flute. Oh, oh, flute? No flute, no flute. No flute used, no flute used. Okay. Oh, no, she, died. she tried to swing, but it didn't come out. Oh, she swung, but it missed. That sucks, dude. That sucks. Yeah. That actually sucks. This 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 Bane is actually kind of memeing on the Santa Coin, I can't even lie. Like he she pounced on him once and he was like, nah. Nah bro, I ain't having that today. I, I honestly kinda of feel bad for that antiquarian. She's like flywheeling, throwing out the stick, and it just doesn't even work, dude. It doesn't even work. So the cheerleaders now has to come on in. Okay, actually it does a really good job of pointing the hook using the beep beep. Gets the rescue, gets the rescue. Oh, jumps the pal oh, I don't know why they have her dropping the pal. Okay, but now now we have some cheerleader harassment here. Um, the cool thing about this is, oh my gosh, flip, 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 you should have flipped. Oh, I would have flipped there. I would have flipped. I would, I would 100% have flipped there. Nope. Because the thing is, you, you know that the swings just aren't working. If you flip, you can at least extend the kite to the point where Chitter can cheer for you. And look at the ciphers. Dude, these ciphers are horrible. These are really, really bad. Oh my gosh. Only four ciphers remaining and one, somebody's already dead. I mean, don't get me wrong, they all have a good amount of progress, but, like, they still have to finish them, and they're still being pushed off. They barely get these heals off. Mercenary dies from a hook into basic attack. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't even surprise. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that hook went through the tree and hit Psychologist. At this point, at this point, dude, I would not be surprised in the slightest. Um, I don't... I think she makes... Yeah, she makes his pallet. She makes his pallet. And she doesn't even... She, You know he's gonna walk through it. He's charge attacking. Just, just hit him. Just hit him with the pallet. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, I guess he could have just waited there, but still. I don't know. Okay, he kind of just threw out his hook randomly. That was jank. He just wanted, he just goes for the blink down. Yep, just goes for the blink down. Stops the TP. Yep. Very good, very good. Okay, never mind. The ciphers are coming along now. The ciphers are indeed coming along. Mercenary finishes one. Uh, You know, I said the ciphers were bad, but they kind of cut up instantly. That's accelerated decoding for you, dude. That is accelerated decoding for you. Um, so this is probably a draw now. This is probably a draw. I, I thought they were in a much more critical scenario because I thought they were going to be like all trapped in one area. But all the ciphers were, um, I guess, pretty condensed. So it's really not so bad. The cipher's is actually about to be primed at this point. So never mind. This is a solid draw. Dang. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's not. No, no, it's not about to be draw. There's still one more. There's still one more. Okay, gets the hit on the mercenary. So this that's not the pop. That's not the pop right there. But what's the one at 70? I'm not sure. Uh, Psych okay, is probably dead. Yep, and boop, down you go. Okay, never mind. This is probably a 3K. The thing is, as long as long as uh, where's the cipher? Oh, is it is it fourth? It's at fourth stop. Okay, it's at fourth. Okay. All right. At this point, if he if he spots at the cheerleader early, that's a that could be a 4K. He's just gonna go for the cipher. Ooh, goes for the cipher instead. He's gonna put traps on. He's gonna put traps on it. Surely. No, he's just gonna go for the Merc. Okay, okay, gonna go for the Merc instead. I guess he's just like, well, it doesn't matter, Psych gets rescued. The thing is, they're gonna heal up the Psych now. Yeah, they're healing up the Psych. And Mercenary can kite this out. Uh, Hook is back up, let's see. Yep, that's, he's dead too, he's dead. Yep, Hook, and then you can, what you do here is you chair him, and then he can just guard the Cypher at the same time. Yup, yup, so now they're forced to start up a whole new Cypher. And Psych is also dead on chair. So if he TPs to Psych, she just dies. She actually just dies. So she has to. She has to find out the cheerleader. Does he see her? Does he see her? He does see her. He does see her. Yep. Does indeed see her. That's a missed hook. That's a missed hook. I don't know why it's a missed hook, but it is a missed hook. She beep beep. 
Oh, we beep beeping today. We beep beeping. And it is a Mercer. Or no, it's a who's on? Oh, it's, it's psychologist on there. That's right. Yeah, Mercer's on the chair. So it's psychologist who's a. Uh, who, who is doing the decoding? Boop and down you go, buddy. Down you go. Okay, Mercer is gonna be put back on the chair. They can rescue again. He's gonna put down some traps on the cipher, I guess. Aren't those just gonna go away if he chairs him on that on that chair though? I'm pretty sure the traps just go away, right? Oh, he's chairing somewhere else. Chairing farther away from the cipher. Wait, he's trying to basement this? Wait, Merc might be able to struggle free. Hold on. Uh, nope, he does not struggle free. Okay. Oh, with basement, he can. Oh, she's already here. Okay, hook, hook. Yes. Goes for the hit. But they're in basement, they're in basement, they're in basement. They are indeed in basement. He can't get dropped down. He's just gonna have to go for the hit. He goes around, he goes around. What's he trying to do? Is he trying to get. Oh, he's trying to down cheerleader. He's trying to down cheerleader with the hook. And he gets cheerleader, he gets cheerleader. And they can't pop, they can't pop, so he goes back down to basement. Yup, goes back down to basement. Oh my gosh. And guess what? The Merc's dead on chair. He's dead on chair. Pretty much everybody's dead on chair except for this cheerleader. They're like all dead on chair. So does he just swing? Oh, he he goes for hook. Hits the mercenary. Hits the mercenary. They just pop. They just pop. Okay, okay. It's a three person end game, but like pretty much everybody's dead on chair. Except for cheerleader. They're like all dead on chair, dude. Which is what, which is what can, can be really scary here. And he's chasing the one person who's not dead on chair. Why? Why are you chasing the one who's not dead on chair? I don't understand. Unless he wants to get cheerleader down just so that he can, uh... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, dude, I... The flywheel! Flywheel's the hook! Oh, still gets hit, though. Still gets hit. Okay, Terra Shock, Terra Shock. Does he just TP? Does he just TP? He's gonna chair TP, most likely. The gate will probably be not open. And Mercenary's staying at middle. This is a draw! This is a draw, dude! This is a draw! You TP now? Use your TP! It's open, it's open, it's open. Does he get it? Does he get it? Does he get it? What? What? Oh, but the missed hook! Wait! Wait! No way, it's a three escape, dude! No way! No way! Not again, bro! Not again! But the gate's not open. The gate's. Nah, they're. Okay, both these two are dead on chair. Both these two are dead on chair. And there's no gate that's open. There's no gate that's open. And he's catching up because he has hook. He can catch up so fast because of hook. Okay, no, this should still be a draw. This should still be a draw. Marcia is going to go to the gate. He's on the gate. He's on the gate. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Beep, 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 beep. Misses the hook. Misses the hook. Wait, the dungeon. The dungeon's not that far away. She doesn't have a beep, beep, though. She has no beep, beep. He can put down a, he can put a trap. He just puts on trap. Trap. Yep, he's going to trap her out. Trap her out. Yep, yep. Misses the hook again! Misses the hook again! No way! Lily! There's no way she does this, right? There's no way. It's possible. It is possible. It's not easy, but it's possible. Okay, okay. She has to wait for a... Huh? Oh, okay, there's the terror shock. I was about to say, dude. Dang! That was an intense game, dude. That was an intense game. Here we are. On to round two, second half. We've got the gamekeeper out once again. We're going to see Mercenary, uh, Aeroplanist, Toy Merchant, and Patient. Toy Merchant, interesting pick on this map. I know she's picked sometimes, but I don't, I don't, I don't, you don't see her too often. Uh, so we're going to see Bara Time, Tide on the Mercenary and Aeroplanist, then Bara Time, Flywheel on the Toy Merchant and the Patient. Uh, the Bainster is running Detention, Trump Card, and Blink. So we got some standard stuff here. Standard, uh... Standard build. So if things go the way that they want, they probably have like, oh, they have aeroplanes at first. That's interesting. Okay, he's gonna wait out on the coaster. Take coaster. Take coaster. There it is. Oh, oh, the hover, dude. If that was okay, high key. If that was anybody but aeroplanes. If that was anybody but aeroplanes, dude. Okay, that's a lie. There are a few other characters. There are a few other characters. But like, I'm pretty sure. Like, 80% of the survivors would immediately have just died right there. That was, like, 10 seconds in. 10 seconds in, dude. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is a really bad kite so far because, um... <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's just dead. That's that's an extremely bad kite. He got so greedy by sitting on the coaster. That is, that is an extremely bad kite. Oh, boy. Is Basin here? Wait. Basin? Basin? Oh my gosh, we're starting things off how we ended last time. Bane in the basement, dude. 
The Banesment. The, 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 the Banesment. That sounds weird to say, but it's the Banesment right now. Alright, so let's see. Can he put out some traps up here? Let's see. Can he put traps in the entrance? He can! Ooh! Uh-oh! Maybe gonna just put some traps up here in case they wanna put trap here. No, no trap, bro. You have trap. Oh, maybe it's in, maybe it's in the range. He's just waiting now. Oh, really? No traps? I, I don't even care. I would start setting traps up everywhere, bro. I don't even care. I just put him randomly in pallets. Like your your traps are like they're on cooldown, sure, but like you're gonna get a, another one soon. Are they selling? Oh, they're selling. They are selling. They are selling, dude, as they should. That, that was just, the Cyphers are too far behind. Yep, you've got to sell. You've got to sell. And honestly, if you're, if you're ACT, um, it's, well, no, actually, technically, um, they are a little bit behind because they only got 1k in the first round. So if they, if they, if, if this YS here draws us, oh, he's TPing to Cypher Bridge? Why the heck are they both here? What the heck? Okay, there's a hit. No flywheel, no flywheel. Bro, I swear. Bane, dude. Bane is just... I don't, I don't know where it came from, dude. I really don't. Like, nobody played this character. He was seen as mid as heck. Like, I never saw this character in a tournament. He was just seen as so mid. Then he gets, like, two adjustments. And now all of a sudden, all of a sudden he just becomes god. Like, I don't know if it was just because he was secretly always good. It was just like he was just he was just like missing like a couple crucial adjustments. Like, I'm pretty sure all it was is like he he can throw out the hook faster, and like the flywheel doesn't cancel his hook anymore. Which, by the way, that's a stupid adjustment. It should go back to canceling it because you get one flywheel every two minutes, and Bane gets you know 15,000 hooks every 13 seconds. So 12 seconds, rather. My bad. 12 seconds is the cooldown for hook. Okay, but the ciphers are. Uh, they're. Uh, uh, hmm. How are these ciphers? This game can end in a 3k, most likely. I, I'll predict a 3k here. Because Patient gets hit again, and he's most likely going to die before endgame hits. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say 3k. Unless it could go to a slug out here. But what Patient needs to do, he needs to actually kite this out for his last chair here. He has to kite this out. We could see some support from the Toy Merchant as well. Uh, oh? Oh, she's gliding on in. This is going to be a bit of an early rescue, don't you think? And there's the hook. Yup, there it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, this actually might be 4k. Oh, good hook, good hook. Is there a catapult up there? Catapult, catapult. Oh? Oh, he gets on with him, though. He gets on with him. Okay, the only way Patient lives this is if there's, like, a catapult at third. Is there a catapult? There is no catapult. There is no catapult. Okay. And he just dies. Yeah, he just dies. He just dies. Okay, unless there was a catapult there, there was nothing. I don't know where the catapult is. It looks like Tormus only put down one catapult, but I don't see where it is. Um, and yeah, he know he knows he knows where the Tormus is because she, uh, he hit her with the hook. One cipher is about to be done. He's gonna head to that cipher. It's gonna be on the uh, the mercenary who has a perfume now. I guess that's interesting. And he's just gonna, yeah, he's gonna completely leave. He's just gonna completely leave. Tormus just sets up a catapult in case uh, the TP on the Cypher. I don't think she can, no, she could probably glide her again. She could probably glide her. TP on Cypher, use, her, use that catapult, yup. Ba boing Where'd she go, where'd she go? Oh, there she is, there she is, near. <laughs> oh, Tormus is so goofy, dude. Yeah, can circle around this, just break line of sight completely. Oh, yep, and then he's like, yeah, no, you're not gonna, we're not gonna circle around here. We're not gonna circle around this whole time. Yep, forces her away from there. Uh, did he break the catapult though? Is the catapult still here? I don't see where it is exactly. Okay, hook, hook. Hides behind the pallet. Drop pallet. Hook is not there. Catapult is still over there. Does she does she just aim for the catapult? Oh, she's gonna aim for the catapult. Yep, aim for catapult, catapult, catapult. Catapult, yep, ba boing, and oh, oh, her glider came out up at the very end. And the flywheel, wait! Oh, hold on! Annie, she's crazy with it! No way! I can't believe she's actually cutting this out. And ba okay, Bane's just literally waiting. He just wants his hook. He just wants his hook. Yo, put down some traps, buddy. Okay, there it is. Yep. I say, put down some freaking traps. You're getting looped. You're actually getting looped. Okay, she did so well though. She actually did so well against like full pres Bane. She did so well. 
don't even what, I don't even know what Bane's full pres ability is, dude. I actually have no idea what it is. I know I know when he gets first presence, his hook does damage, but I don't remember what his last presence is. I'll, I'll look it up after this match. Um, I just don't I just don't play Bane, and I don't fight enough Banes, even though I should be fighting Banes because clearly they're quite scary. Also, Mercenary just took the coaster. That's interesting. Uh, and yep, now it's gonna be wait, wait a minute. He can he can just wait it out. He can just wait it out. He can actually wait it out. He has an elbow pad. Oh, but the big thing is, the big thing is, if he hits him with a hook and into basic hit, Mercenary just dies. He doesn't have delayed damage. He will not have the delayed damage. I don't know if he knows where the dungeon is. Uh, he's not even near it. I don't. Well, no, he should he should know. No, they should definitely know because they were ba he was near basement and he passed by it. No, they should definitely know where dungeon is. The biggest issue is getting to it. Oh, he's breaking the loop, dude. He's pushing, he's just pushing him back. He's pushing him back. No way he gets on the coaster, right? He's gonna take the coaster all the way back to first, but guess who can be there? He can just tell, Lily Bane can just teleport all the way back. Cause I'm pretty sure it's, you're forced to go all the way back to first, right? Oh no, it just, oh wait. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, this elbow pad is gonna be so crucial. The elbow pad needs to like get this right here. Elbow pad, elbow pad, elbow pad. He's trying to force it. No, nope, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yup, he's dead. He's dead. You needed to elbow pad past him or something and then dodge hook afterwards. Oh boy, that's a 4K, dude. And with that 4K, that's going to be the win for Team YS. Good stuff to them. Onward to the next set. I am. I. Uh, okay, so we got Opera Singer with Detention, Trump Card, and uh, Abnormal. We've got Prisoner Mechanic. Prisoner Mechanic, is that not like a different Koa meta? Isn't that like Koa 4 or something? I, I mean, I, I haven't, I don't know what Koa 4 meta is, but is that, this is Prisoner in Tournament. They're the first Prisoner I've ever seen. Prisoner, Luca Salsa. <laughs> is rocking Rantaro? No way, bro. What does Prisoner do against Opera? What does he do? It, she's chasing down the Prisoner first. Yep, as you should, as you should. So and she's got, she's like, okay, you, you know, I'm, I'm, oh no, double decoding, I'm so scared. Guess what? Boom, abnormal. Get rid of it all. Yep, just get rid of it all. He's gonna camp two story. He sets up the connections. Oh boy, I, oh boy. And yep, bro's been caught out. Yep. Yeah, prisoner, everybody. <laughs> prisoner. He does have full kite build, but all he has is shock. Boop. Can he even get behind the? Okay. Drop the pallet. Nice, nice. All right, Luca, you got this, bud. Okay. All right, bro. Uh, <laughs> he's got flywheel, knee jerk. He's got it all, dude. He's got it all. Okay, she's slow with it. She's slow with it. She's slow with it. Yeah, but his stun takes way too long to recharge, and he just, he just, he just sits up there and dies for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why he didn't go down. High key, I don't know why he just didn't drop down. He literally just sat there and just let himself get hit. Prisoner, everybody, prisoner. Woo, prisoner. Yeah. You know, it's actually funny that like the ciphers are actually moving kind of fast, but again, there is a mechanic. There is a mechanic, so that is part of the reason why. Okay, um, well, there's the abnormal, and see ya. <laughs> yup. All that cipher progress is gone. Their prisoner is on the chair. Uh, so here's the thing. You have double rescuer, double decoder. But, like, the thing is, none of them want to take the chase. That's the biggest thing. You don't want any of these characters to take the chase. Ideally, you want mechanic to take the chase, most likely. Because while while she has her self decoding debuff, she, her bot is out on the field of decoding. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know, dude. I just don't know the flywheel, and this dies anyway. So why bother? Why bother using flywheel if you're gonna die anyway, buddy? Because now you have nothing for you have no rebound potential. Prisoner, everybody. <laughs> this is probably the one and only time they're gonna play prisoner. And don't get me wrong, I know there's gonna be like 10,000 comments that are like, but, 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 I five side for cutting a pr as prisoner, I five side for cutting an opera singer, I'm, uh... Yeah, what rank are you, Elk? <laughs> Mammoth? <laughs> oh boy. Don't get me wrong, I love Prisoner too. I love me some Prisoner Gaming. I think he's a really goofy character. I really do like Prisoner. But, in a tournament setting, he's just not strong. I hate to say it, he is just not a strong character. Like, cause he, he even, even with full kite build, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not also, he's not playing incredibly well like his kiting is like yeah his, his his kiting is you know not great not 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 necessarily good um and you can definitely raw kite against an opera singer but when, when you're prisoner dude 
<laughs> He's like, I'm not going down without a fight. I'll shock you. I'll shock you. Oh, boy. But, yeah, the ciphers are a little slow. Partially because of that abnormal. But she can abnormal a second time if she really wants to. And the thing is, Mechanic herself right now, dummy slow decoder. Dummy slow at decoding. She has a 30% decoding speed. See how slow the cipher's moving? That's because Mechanic's on it. Her cipher is moving at the pace of an actual snail. She needs to use the bot to decode right now. She should be moving the bot. Boom. Down goes that decoding. And boom. This is a 4K. Yup. This is why you don't run a freaking Koa 4 or whatever meta the prisoner mechanic was. This is why you don't run this meta in Koa 7, because guess what? It's so fast <laughs> that it just doesn't matter. Oh boy. That's the second abnormal too. So she, she's making such good use out of this abnormal. Charles is gonna go down. The mechanic is healthy in the bot. Oh, the bot is here too. Okay, high key, you gotta get this bot like hidden right now because the bot is like the only way you're gonna be able to do anything. Yep, hide that bot, hide that bot. Even if you just wanted to work on the end, like the gates for endgame, hide that freaking bot, dude. Hide that bot. Do not let it get caught. Okay, so yeah, Mechanic should be the one to come in for the rescue here because, nope, it's going to be the Mercenary. Yay, we love Mechanic's slow decoding speed. Yeah, there's no coming back from this. Look at how slow the Mechanic's decoding. Look at how slow she's decoding. Oh, she's not even decoding anymore. That's funny. Yeah, so Mechanic and Prisoner, everybody. Mechanic and Prisoner. Oh, man. It's so sad, dude, because I, I love Mechanic. I think she's so cool. She, she's... Okay, I know Hunters hate her, but I think she's a really cool character. I, I think like the she's like one of the most unique decoders, literally adding a second, you know, a fifth person onto the freaking team or whatever. Like, that's actually really unique. And yet, she's just so bad. She is just so bad. Like, I think, personally, I think a lot of other people have agreed. I think when Tracy's bot has been killed by the Hunter, not if it disappears... If, if Tracy's bot specifically has been killed by the hunter, um, she should get a part of that decoding debuff back, right? Because she has two decoding debuffs. If the hunter hits the bot one time and like, it loses 50%, then she should get, um, you know, like 30% of her decoding speed back. And if it hits it a second time, she should get like, you know, maybe 10% back. Make it so she still has a slight decoding debuff. Um, but it's just like, she's, at this point, it's just, it's, it's so... It's just so much. I don't know. Like, uh, as a solo character, she is just so bad. Like, she has bad decoding, bad vaulting, bad rescuing. She is just bad. All because of her ability. Which anybody else could just use. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Like, high key, lucky guy is better than, like, a better mechanic than mechanic. Like, yeah, he doesn't get as much bot, but when he gets a bot, at least he can actually, I don't know, you know, decode at the same speed as everybody else. He can still vault things faster. Like, high key, lucky guy is a better mechanic than mechanic. So, anytime you want to run a mechanic, just play lucky guy. The only issue is that mechanic can, you know, do her little self rescue. She can use the bot while she's on the chair. So, the only time mechanic, I think, really comes out and shines well, just hit the bot. Oh, it doesn't even hit the bot. That's funny. But the only time she actually shines well is when she takes the kite, somehow does well, and her bot, like, is, you know, decoding the entire time while she's taking the kite. But yeah, look at look at these ciphers, dude. Look at how slow they're moving. Look at how slow they're moving. Prison, prisoner mechanic, dude. Prisoner mechanic. And it's so sad because I actually really... I, I think a team like this could be really interesting. But in a tournament setting, it's just not... It's just not happening, dude. It is just not happening. You know, may, maybe in a really... In a, in a rank session. Maybe in like a quick match. But it, the thing is, what what a, a team like this requires you to like have a game plan that will not get upset, right? This is not a very adaptable team. And that's that's a, that's what a lot of the top survivors and top hunters are nowadays. Ma mainly, I guess, if we're talking survivors, they're a lot more adaptable, right? You know, a, a good example is um, is Aeroplanus, a, a newer type character, right? Because his jetpacks are so good because he can rescue with his jetpacks, he can kite with his jetpacks, and his decoding is super good. He has actually, in fact, a 2% decoding buff. That's right, everybody. 2% decoding buff. It's so goofy, but it's like, man, a rescuer that doesn't have a decoding buff. The only debuff Charles has is the dropping pallet slowly. Like, he's a very solid character. He's adaptable, dude. He can kite. He can rescue. He can decode. He can do it all, dude. He can do it all. And that's what makes him so strong. He is just such a strong character. Um, and yet, like... He can, he, it's just the fact that he's so adaptable to everything. So like if he needs to rescue, he can do that. If he needs to kite, he can do that. If he needs to decode, he can do that. 
That's that's the type of characters that are meta nowadays, dude. That's the type of characters. Now, of course, there are well, you know, other cases that are weaker in some areas, strong in some areas. Like you know, you have you have your harassers that you know have bad decoding, like Ford or something, but can still cook for harassing. You got something like a mercenary who has really, really bad decoding and really, really bad healing, but the fact that his delay damage is so overpowered, it's like completely saved games many times. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting, though. I think the meta, the meta is just really interesting to uh, discuss. Now, Charles does indeed uh, get crows, so Opera knows his location. Mercenary has his self heal primed. So, okay, he does actually pop the self heal there. And we're gonna, yep, Charles gonna go down. But yeah, they just they just don't have um they they just don't have ciphers, dude. They just don't have a cipher. Now I think mercenary oh, he picked up a chest and he got a decoy. Yay! Give it up for decoy gaming. If he got a syringe, that could have been good. Maybe. Well, maybe. The thing is, mercenary would have taken ten thousand hours to heal with that syringe, dude. But it also would have helped him prevent get crowed. So if he was able to hide it out, but now yeah, now he's tinnitus. Yup. We got tonight, so we see the mercenary and should be dead here soon. We dashy, we dashy, we we terror shock him so he doesn't even get his delayed damage. Dang, dude, it's funny that the wand actually made the kite even worse. That is funny. That is funny. Yep. Okay, so Charles does get a chest, gets the syringe, tries to hide it out, but yeah, there's nothing you can do there. That's a 4K for the Opera Singer. All right, on to round one, second half. We're actually gonna see Dream much instead of Opera Singer, which I'm actually really happy about. But as for the survivors, these are a lot more standard Opera comps. We're not gonna see Mechanic Prisoner. We're gonna see uh, Embalmer, Aeroplanist, First Officer, and The Gardener here, so. Let's see, as for builds, we've got Blink Detention and, or no, sorry, uh, Trump Card Detention and Patroller on the Dream Witch. We've got Tide Knee Jerk on Embalmer, Borrow Time Knee Jerk on Aeroplanist, Borrow Time Tide on Officer, and then Borrow Time Knee Jerk on the Gardener. So, you know, a pretty, pretty spread out builds here, pretty spread out builds. And it looks like somebody just passed by. Okay, Aeroplanist, Aeroplanist is here. Gonna set up the first Leech, yup. There, there be the Leech, there be the Leech. On goes to the Dream Witch, she's gonna have Hunt and Berserk on the Persona Web, along with, uh, you know, the main final traits there. Okay, so the thing is, this Dream Witch here has to get a 4K to catch up. Now, you, you have access to Opera Singer, but if, if Mitake or M1 Take, I, I don't know how to pronounce their name, um, well, however you pronounce their name, if, if they're confident in their Dream Witch, you know, then go for it. But the thing is, you have Opera Singer, and Opera Singer is broken. And even if this is an anti-Opera Singer comp, you're, it's still Opera Singer at the end of the day. Like, it is still Opera Singer. Goes for the hover, okay, goes for the hover just to avoid the first hit. I, I do like that, I do like that. It's, it's, I, I like the idea of using hover, um, because you only get one hover per game, which is sad. But the thing is, sometimes using your best resources early is actually really good. Because here's the thing. Hunters have extremely bad early games, right? They're, they're usually really, really bad. So if you use your best resources early game and you don't give them any chances to snowball, that's what's super good. Yeah, you're going to run out of resources, but like, guess what? It won't matter if you um, if the hunter has no presence to work with, right? Uh, a, a good example is coordinators shooting their gun. Um, usually within the first 30, 40 seconds of the match, because I think I believe it's 40 seconds for excitement um, to, to to come up on cooldown, right? So they'll shoot it before then, so they can't use excitement, and then they'll be forced to switch off their trait, and they get like a free transition. So it's a, it's an early game hit, but it allows your uh, it allows the hunter to not build up any presence, right? That's what's super super good. Now we're gonna see the patroller here. And, yep, there are two followers right next to Charles, and he's most likely just gonna die here. He has patrol, yep, just gonna be a patrollered. Yeah, the thing is, he either vaults, dies, or just stays there and dies. So there wasn't really much that he could do there. Wasn't much, but look at the ciphers. That's that's a three cipher kite right there. That is a three cipher kite. Beautiful stuff from Charles. Did use up every last bit of his jetpacks, but again, that's a three cipher kite, and they're on the last two ciphers. So this, this is looking really, really good for Team TE. Okay, Team TE, they really only need to get people out the gate. If they can get people out the gate, they're fine. They only, the, all they want to do is get people out the gate, um, because they already, they, their hunter already got a 4k, so as long as they, uh, you know, get more people out the gate, they can, uh, contain that lead. Um, they just do not want to give CT any possible chances for a 4k here. Officer going to stall this, uh, stall this out with the watch. Actually does, does take the hit there. Wow, I'm surprised that wasn't chair hit. Actually did end up hitting the officer, but they get the first rescue. And the thing is, they have a second tide, so this is most likely going to be a four-person endgame here. Swaps to the blink, misses the blink, actually. That is unfortunate for the Dream Witch. Yeah, this is looking really bad. This is looking really bad for the Dream Witch. I can't lie. I kind of feel bad. Uh, oh, there we go. 
she's kind of lost for a second. She was actually kind of lost there for a second. Okay. And are we going to be able to get this hit? Blink has already been used. Drops a pallet. Yep. Makes that pallet time. Where's the other follower? Oh, it's on its way. It's on its way. Okay. That's his leech, though. He's going he's gonna to take a leech hit. Yep. Blinks with the leech, and there's nothing, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. She has nothing. She actually has nothing. Oh, boy. This is unfortunate. The Cypher is primed. He's not dead on chair. They high key could have. Well, if I don't think a bomber saw him, but if a bomber saw him, they could have like coffined him in the hotel and just popped. That would be depressing, dude. That would actually be depressing. So who's gonna be here for the rescue? Are they gonna actually use up their tide, or? Because what they could do, they could have a bomber rescue, uh, and like maybe try to end game tide cheese or something. No, it looks like Garner's gonna go on in. Okay. They still have a bomber tide, so. Uh, no, Garner. Garner has bubble. She has bubble. She makes the rescue. She makes the rescue. And even if she doesn't, even if she w w somehow didn't, um, you know, the, the Cypher's the cipher's prime, the Cypher's prime. So, boop, and there's the BT. Yup, good stuff, good stuff. And they're already on the gates. Yup. Yeah, this is, this is a 1K? Officer has watch. Okay, yeah, the, the, the airplane does die in a corner, but it's, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, dude. She's she's already sought to blink. There's no possible dream much teleport shenanigans that we can do here. That's a three escape, dude. That is a three escape. Didn't even really have to, didn't even have to use their embalmer coffin at all, dude. They could have they could have embalmer cheese as well. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's rough for CT. All right, on to round two. First half, we're going to see a Bane coming out once again. It's got detention, trump card, and blink. We've got patient, antiquarian, mercenary, and barmaid. So. Interesting. I wonder if they're also expecting a dream match potentially. It's on Lakeside here. Uh, Mercer is going to have Borrow Time tied. We've got Borrow Time Flywheel on the Antiquary, and then Borrow Time Knee Jerk on uh, Barmaid and the Patient. So yeah, I'd say that's a pretty standard uh, pretty standard build up here. So th what's actually really funny about this is um, Antiquarian at Shack is uh, pretty good. But I, I was watching uh, I was watching Problems do some practicing uh, before you, Problems. He was doing some practicing of Antiquarian versus Bane in Shack to see how long you can stay in Shack as Antiquarian. Red light tricking. Ooh, good red light trick there from the Banester. Oh, but my goodness. Smacks him three times for an extremely long disarm. Yep, she's just like, yeah, I'll just, whatever. Flips. Goes back in. Oh, but she's in the trap now. Yeah, Bane's got some tricks of his own. He's got some tricks of his own. Boop. And, uh, ooh. How'd she not get, how'd, how? How the heck did she not get in that trap? Anyway, that was like a beautiful, that was a beautiful play from the Bane. I can't even lie. That was a beautiful play. And look, look at, look at her flute. Her flute's almost gone. Her flute is almost gone. So much flute used. No, she's just dead right here. She's dead. The flywheel. There's the last flute. That's the last, that's the last of the flute though. Last of the flute. He's body blocking the pallet. She can't even get behind it. Okay, that, that Bane actually played it really well. He played that so well. That that kite was not great. That was not a great kite. And I think it's just because of Hook. It's because of Hook. It's just he's always on the other side. Like, windows and pallets, they don't matter to Bane because he just is like, hmm, you vaulted? Hook. <laughs> it just doesn't matter, bro. Uh, as, as a player who really struggles against that type of stuff, I I am scared to fight, like, good Banes, dude. Like, any any type of hunter that makes me, like, feel uns... I, okay, I don't know why he did that. Uh, but any any hunter that makes me feel unsafe when I drop a pallet or vault a window, I hate that dude. I absolutely hate that. Like a, a good example is Mary. She can just mirror to the other side of the pallet. Uh, Evil reptilian. He can just jump to the other side of the the thing. Uh, Bane hooks over it. Geisha flies over the pallet. Like I absolutely am so bad against hunters like that because it's just like well, I like dropping pallets and feeling sa feeling safe. That's why I like. You know, a, a somewhat you know good hunter like Nightwatch, I feel okay with because it's like, well, he can't teleport over pallets. He can he can vault them fast, yes, but he doesn't basically just you know have an ability that just like, oh, I can't just camp the pallet, I can't just hide behind the pallet and feel safe. Because even even though Nightwatch vaults the pallets kind of fast, like unless he combos it with wind, it's honestly not super good because you can just if you're in a good area at least you can just go to the next uh you know the next pallet or whatever. Um, if you're caught in a, if you're caught in a bad area though, Nightwatch is you know pretty pretty strong. But in the good areas, dude, Nightwatch Nightwatch just really gets suffered. So you, you pretty much just bait out win in a strong area and then you can transition because you can't do much. I don't know. I like fighting Nightwatch though. I really like fighting Nightwatch. It's just the characters that can just be like, hmm, I'm on the other side of a wall. It doesn't matter to me. I really struggle against those types of characters. But anyway, we're gonna see that the Bainster is now on uh, the barmaid here. 
and nobody actually came in to rush to the Antiquarian. The Cyphers were so far behind that they just opted to just opted to sell. Feel a little bit of tinnitus there. Barmaid can't go in there because it's a trap. Yup. So now, are we gonna try and mix? Oh, you can't mix now. Well, um, <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> yeah, thing is, oh, hiding back there, hiding back there, trying to stall it out. Okay. Yeah, you you hide back there to stall out the to stall it out a little bit to stall out the death. If you're gonna die anyway, yeah, you might as well. So she didn't. She already used speed bottle. She already used a, a single bottle. She, and the thing is, when barmaid is injured, her mixing good good hook dodge, good hook dodge. Uh, but her mixing, I believe, takes ten whole seconds if she's injured. Uh, while barmaid is healthy, I believe it takes two seconds. But ten seconds, yeah, it's, that's that's rough. That's rough. Um, the only time you're gonna be able to mix uh, in, in mid kite is if you're at full uh, full HP. So let's see here. Let's see, mercenary. He's a uh, Feeding tinnitus, and the cipher is a 47. So that them selling actually did uh, do something good here. But mercenary has to like stall this out a little bit here. He has to stall this out. And there is the hook. Yep, hook into hit. So he's gonna be forced to get this rescue. It is before half though. Wait a. M no, they're fine. They're fine. I was say he could hook again if it wasn't on cooldown. He does actually opt the TP to the cipher. Um. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, wait, that was kind of a neat hook. I like that. I like that hook. All right, but, we, but Bane's also got a hook, bro. He's got a hook, and it's better. It's a better hook than yours, dude. Imagine if Patient had an infinite hook. That's Bane. You know, I'm... Okay, high key. If that if that hook hit, I was quitting this game. I was quitting. I would have quit right there. Like, that would have been the dumbest thing ever, bro. That would have been the stupidest thing ever if that hook hit. Okay, he's... Yep, elevation, elevation. Elevation is good. We like elevation out here. Yep, can't just breaking, breaking out of sight. Make it so he cannot hook you. But there's the hook. Yep, there's the hook. And takes the hit. Everybody's pretty much injured. Barmaid is going to opt to use her drink, but it doesn't really matter because it's only gonna. she's only going to go down to one-fourth. And he just hooks and basic hits, and that just kills anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The Banester, dude. He can be so freaking frustrating. Yep, down goes the patient, and the Cypher isn't ready, but they can bring on in the... Uh, Oh, they actually hit up the mercenary for that. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. So she she bottled the mercenary so that uh, when Bane hooks and then basic hits, he can still rescue with with his delayed damage. But now he's gonna try and do the hook into the trap strategy. Let's see. Does he get it? Does he get it? Does he get it? He does get it. Yup. Yup. We're gonna stall this out. We're gonna stall this out. Oh, I see what we're doing. I see. He's waiting to try and see if he can hook again. Okay, he can't. He can't, though. He can't. Waste an elbow pad there as well. I think he was going to try and hook to see if he could hook and then just get the down. Interesting. Cypher's prime, though. Cypher's prime. Oh, I see. Where is he going to... Is he going to... No, just chair. I, I thought he was going to go try and get to Basin for a second, but I don't, I don't think they're close enough. All right, patient, do your thing. Oh, the hook. The hook hit the chair. Wait, that's good. That's actually good. Okay, to avoid shenanigans, oh, well, that's, shenanigans are gonna happen. Rip, rip, shenanigans will indeed happen. Gosh, there's traps everywhere. Okay, he's not in a trap though, he's not in a trap this time. Yeah, they're just gonna, he's just gonna do this. He's, yep, he's gonna play it out, just play it out. Yep. So what Mercenary has to try and do here is just like try and pass them or like put them in an animation or something. Oh, they just popped, Never mind. they're like, yeah, yeah whatever, man, whatever, I'm done with this. <laughs> They just don't want to deal with this. So, yeah, now he's got to tight kite this. Oh, no more hook. No more hook. No more hook. And does he he makes his pallet. Drop pallet. There we go. Okay, this should be a draw. This should actually be a draw. They actually played that well, even though Bane was on it. That hook is so jank, bro. That hook is so jank. Okay, TP immediately. He actually TPs immediately, but they get out. They get out. They get out. They get out. Yep. No hook. They get out. Dang. They somehow drawed that. That's crazy. All right, Gamekeeper fans, it's time for some more Gamekeeper. <laughs> oh, he's just everywhere, bro. He's everywhere. Detention, Trump Card, and Peeper. We're going to see Antiquarian, uh, Forward, Mike Gaming, and the Seer. So with how much Bane is coming out, I honestly think, like, like I th I, he's honestly probably the second best hunter in the game. I can't even lie. With how much, with how much CN is playing Bane, they have. They surely have to consider him the second best hunter in the game. They, like they have to. They surely have to. Like he's just. He's everywhere. Like uh, around two is filled with Bane. Like after Opera Singer, it's just Bane. Unless there's like a character specialist, it's just almost always Bane, dude. Like Dreamwitch. Like Dreamwitch has picked less than Bane. 
Bane is just so freaking popular. He, he surely has to be like the second best hunter in the game at this point. Like they're picking him over Waxars and stuff like that. Like I always thought Waxars was so annoying and hard, but they just opt for the Bane, dude. They just opt for Bane. I don't know, man. Watanuki Seer is gonna try and kite this out. And he has yet to, uh, yet to take any hits. Cyphers are climbing a little bit. His owl is not even near close to being farmed up. Okay, he does use owl. Okay, use owl, use owl. Free vault, free vault. No? Okay, free vault. Hits the owl, hits the owl. Okay, he gets presents from that at least. He at least gets presents. That, that's the one thing, he does get presents. Uh, now, Peeper, Peeper is definitely an interesting choice here. Peeper is definitely an interesting choice. Um... But look at look at the ciphers, dude. These ciphers are looking really, really good. Oh! He was behind something. He was behind something. Bane is a hacker, bro. Bane is an actual hacker. Oh my gosh. And yep, antiquarian support. They know that there, 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 there's no blink. It's only peepers. Okay, she body blocks swing. Swing. Oh, oh. Okay. Full swings. 10 seconds of disarm right now. Now will he just swap to the antiquarian? That was the question. He's gonna have to just swap to the Antiquarian. Um, I mean, I guess he can hook instant down. Flywheel, flywheel. No flywheel, really? I mean, I know you can like at least wait for it. I guess maybe they're trying to try, try and save it for a rebound. Huh. Well, that, that, anti, that antique dealer went down pretty fast, but uh, I mean, their seer is okay. He did use up his owl though. He did use up his owl. Whoa, 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 forward. Sheesh. Bro, it's coming on in here, okay. Well, there we go. That's a 50% stun. Oh, again? Again? No way. Yo, how does he recover so fast? He doesn't even have stun reduction. He has no stun reduction on his persona web. And yet he recovered that fast? That's crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. Why are they harassing so hard? He's not even dead on chair or anything. Also, why would you harass that hard? Okay, 10 seconds. But the hook though, the hook. Yup, yup. Yeah. <laughs> the pallet's done. Yo, just go to Big Boat. Just go to Big Boat. Just go to Big Boat. Or just stay at shore. Um, sure. Why not? Okay. Ooh! The flywheel for some reason. Oh, the flywheel the hook, potentially. Still has hook, still has hook. Another pallet stun, yo! The antique dealer is like, yep, pallet stun. All day, all day, all day. All day. Wait, the ciphers! The ciphers! They're climbing! But she's also dead on chair, though. Oh, no, she's not. She's not. She's not dead on chair. I'm stupid. Yep, she's like, yeah, I'll just die in the water. Just gonna die in the water. Forward is here, but he can't excitement this. Um, okay, I guess the I guess the main reason why he he used ball in the chair is just so he didn't have to worry about the freaking rescue, you know, with the with the, the hook and all that. He just didn't want to have to deal with the hook, I guess. Uh, but now the cipher is um not ready. Yo, can somebody please get on that cipher, please? Forward's already here. Dodges hook. He can't stall this out forever. Guy, okay, they're they're finally on it. They're on it. They're on it. They're on it. They're on it. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. You got you got time, you got time, you got time, bro. You got time. You got all the time in the world. Rescue, rescue, and gets the hit, but there's the pop. Beautiful stuff from the survivors. Beautiful stuff from the survivors. Yep. I'm a little bit rooting for the survivors here because they are, you know, they are behind. They need to they need to get out a lot of people if they want to continue this set because TE did indeed get a 4K uh, in the first match. Okay, okay, there's a teleport, there's a teleport, and the wrong game. Wait, is that a four escape? No way! No way! Wait, 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 wait! A four escape actually might give them the set! No way! That one teleport, he just actually gave up the entire game. That's a four escape. You're joking. By teleporting to the wrong gate, he th he kind of just... I don't want to say it, but he kind of just threw. All right, so that is definitely not the end of the set. I calculated the points. They are now 10 to 7 when it comes to specifically points here. Uh, but yeah, that was a crazy that was a crazy four escape. That was that is something that CT absolutely needed to become or to come back in this set. They needed that, dude. Anyway, we are gonna see the Bane coming out once again. They have 200 bands, so I'm not really sure why we're seeing Bane once again. Uh, but he's gonna be running uh, Detention, Blink, and Trump card. Uh, it's different from last time. He's not having peepers this time. And we're gonna see Lawyer, Mercenary, Acrobat, and the uh, Prospector coming out, which I love to see the Nort gameplay. We're gonna see Borrowed Time Flywheel on Acrobat and Norton, Borrowed Time Tide on the Mercenary, and then Borrowed Time Knee Jerk on the Lawyer. And as for the Baster, he does have some fast breaking pallet speed and a little bit of stun reduction in the Persona web. Uh, so let's see how this is gonna go. Who's gonna take the first kite? It looks like the Lawyer is actually uh, going to be the first chase target. Already using all of that map, yep. Using the map to help transition, using the map to help get the speed bonuses. And he's actually rocking the Bunny Lawyer skin, which is one of the 
doofiest skins of all time, if you ask me. It's just, it's so stupid looking. Um, but at this point, looking at the map, he should be pretty darn close to having all his max buff. Let's see. Try to bet out the hook. Try to bet out hook. Nope, no, no. He does still take the hit. Does still take the hit. Boop. There's the first hit. There's the first hit. And he does get the pal. Okay, he does get the pallet speed boost from that. Um, but the thing is, he kind of wasted his veteran speed boost by doing that. Like, he should have used veteran speed boost and then used the transition that the pallet won later. Because now, now the Bane is already caught up. Does actually dodge the hook, but it hits a wall, and down he goes. Uh, not the greatest kite, honestly. Not the greatest kite. If, if he forced out traits somehow, I would say that was a good kite. Uh, but he unfortunately did not force out the trait. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that's a pretty... It was not a bad kite, I guess, because one cypher is about to be done. But they are losing their decoder here, so... Yeah, it, it definitely could have been better. If he forced out Blink, though, that was solid. It, it would have been perfect. It would have been perfect. I, I just I just think, like, if you take a hit as Lawyer, never do what that Lawyer did, in my opinion, because you've got veteran speed bonus. Because you can just transition super far away, get as far away as possible. Uh, did he just cancel attack recovery? No, he did not. He did not. Okay. There we go. Just gonna try and buy some time for him. Yep, another one. Oh, he canceled attack recovery that time. Yep, that's an attack recovery cancel. And you're dead, buddy. You're dead. Yep. That's what you get for canceling attack recovery, I guess. Now, we're going to probably see a blink down here. Let's see. Blinkity blink, downity down. Okay, there's the blink. See, now that kite could have lasted a little bit longer if he just blinked on, blinked on the first down. Bit unfortunate. Uh, they are kind of cypher rushing him, though. They are kind of cypher rushing him. But I think at best they can only get, like, a draw here because this lawyer is most likely going to be dead before endgame unless Norton does some crazy harassment, which um, he's just going to die. D use your flywheel. You have flywheel. Use it. Oh my gosh, who cares if you EVV baits you? At least use it. Because now now look at now look what's happening. Now he can't rescue. Oh my gosh, dude. This is this is and he he's this is oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh no terror shock. Careful, careful. Uh, no terror shock, no terror shock. But what what does this lawyer do? He just dies in a corner. That's what he should do. Okay, we got the pallet speed boost, and he's just gonna try and kite this out, but he just takes the hit. Yup, now you just go die in corner house. Yup. Oh, gets hit by the tram. Oh boy, this is one unlucky lawyer. Yup, gives him the trap, so he's just gonna die right there. Yup, can't even die that far away from a chair, dude. Oh boy, that's pretty unfortunate. I would hate to be this lawyer right now. Oh, I would hate to be this lawyer. I can't even lie, dude. As good as the strategy is with the double tide and farming off and whatnot, though, not, not that they're really doing it in this game specifically, but being the first chase target and just getting farmed off like that really sucks, dude. It, it never really feels good. Okay, so he actually knows exactly where these two are. Um, okay, wait. Oh, the repel, the repel, the repel into the stun. That was actually really nice. He has two more magnets. Okay, here's the second one. And, 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 okay, okay. Good stun, good stun. One more magnet, throws it out, throws it out. And probably gonna stun right here. No. Look out, look out, Nort, 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 Nort. Ooh! That's a nice stun. And it doesn't even matter. He finally uses his flywheel, yes! He finally uses his flywheel. Norton, finally, and he just TPs. He's too good. He TPs to the cipher. Yeah, Acrobat use that firebot. Oh, that was a, that was a, that was a freaking elbow pad. I was like, what the heck? Okay, he's able to drop that pad. Drop this one too. Yup, yup. Good, good. Very good stuff. But now they just don't have a cipher though. They don't have a cipher. Okay, careful, Acrobat. Careful, careful, buddy. The flywheel, but doesn't really do much there. Didn't really do much. Uh, hook again, and hook. Uh, again, yep, that time it's happening. Yep, yep, there it is. Okay, he's still, oh, okay, I thought, I thought he got caught in a trap for a second, that's just the vault. So he can probably vault over this trap, let's see. Yes, he can, yes, he can, okay, good, good. But he has no more bombs. Well, actually, let's see, does he have a bomb? No, he doesn't have an interaction bomb. Wait, but he decoded two ciphers. He should have one more bomb. Wait, did he use a bomb earlier that I wasn't paying attention to? Okay, he doesn't have any more bombs. I thought he would have had one more bomb. He does. No, he does still have it. Yeah, he does have the interaction bomb. That's what I thought. I thought he still had one more bomb. Okay, if they play their cards correctly here, they should be able to draw this because they're working on the cipher. Mercenary stalls it out. Um, Prospector still. Look at look at Prospector swapping his polarities. He's constantly swapping. He's just like, yeah, why not? Might as well, dude. It's like, yeah, I'll just keep swapping my polarities because it's funny. I do that too, bro. I do that too. 
<laughs> I, I just swapped my Proletas while I'm just decoding because it's like, oh, what, am I supposed, what else am I supposed to do right now, dude? Oh boy. Okay, Cypher's getting ready. TP is not up. He's gonna have TP for endgame. Oh, he's gonna go to the Cypher? I think he gets this off. I think he gets this off. Hold on. No way. <gasps> At 99! At 99! And it's basement. I would be so mad. I would be so mad. Oh, I would be so mad, bro. I mean, if he popped there, he was still dead anyway. I, I, I still, I, I would be so mad, bro. I would be so mad. Getting the Cypher all the way to 99. Oh, boy. Okay, Mercenary should be able to get the rescue. Does get the rescue. Yep, now you can just go for some drop down hits here. Okay, okay. But I picks up Mercenary. Yeah, now somebody else is going to come back down. The stun, the stun. Oh, drops, drops. No stun, no stun. There's the stun. Okay. Is he going to try and harass or. No, okay. The second, the second they get the, the, the basic, they've got a hit. They just got a. Oh, magnet there for some reason. Okay. Was that a missed magnet or pop? Okay, nice. But now Mercenary has to pick it up. No! Okay, okay. He's down there. He's down. He's down. He's down. Elbow pad away. But doesn't matter to the Banester. He doesn't care about elbow pad. <sighs> dude, Bane is crazy, dude. He's so crazy. And it's Acrobat on gate, bro. It's Acro on gate. You TP. You can TP if you really wanted to. We're going to camp it out. now. I guess if you camp it out, they get to get the rescue. All right. He's gonna, he's, he, can, he can save his TP to go back to the chair. He can just fly all the way over there. Oh, boy. That's a one escape, I think. That's only a one escape. Uh, okay, good bait, but it doesn't matter. Because his hook is still up. Yup, see ya. Down you go. Yup, that's a one escape. That's a one escape for ya. The trim! Oh, but he dropped him, he dropped him, he dropped him, he dropped him, he dropped him. He dropped him, he dropped him. Okay, I'm pretty sure the tramp didn't actually matter there, though. Would have been funny, but I don't think it actually mattered. On to round three, second half. We are going to see a uh, hermit coming out here. Detention, insolence, teleport hermit. We've got coordinator, psychologist, mercenary, and the uh, female dancer here. We've got borrow time knee jerk on everybody except for the mercenary who has borrow time tied. And here's the thing, everybody. CT, because of getting that 3K there, CT needs a 4K to draw the set. To, uh, to just draw. Now, I, I think with points, it might be 4K, uh, CT takes it, and then um, anything that isn't a 4K will be uh, will go to TE. So they, they absolutely need a 4K here. Um, and again, I, I, I do know that this is like an earlier, uh, an earlier game in the bracket, but I honestly don't remember who wins this. I really don't know. Because um, again, I have seen all of the uh, CN mainland, like, late games at this point because i had to go back and watch the early games which is what we're doing today but i don't remember who specifically wins this set and even even though i know uh, some of the people who win the set sometimes it's more just you know finding out how they win the set is like a lot of the exciting part now only one cypher has been touched okay there's finally they have a second cypher i don't know why they're taking so long uh looks like they do have a box is that a slow box i can't really tell he's red light tricking red light red light yeah good good really good stuff elbow pads away okay but he still has that little stun Drop pallet. Where's the stun? Where's the stun? It doesn't even get the stun. <laughs> just doesn't even get it. Okay, well, um, chasing the mercenary first is definitely a choice. Because the elbow pad is a thing. But he's already used up two of them. And his stun is uh, his back. So he's going to have his stun up here. Gets the stun. Here's the first hit. Boop. There we go. Drop the pallet. But now he's got the eye of Sauron. So he can now catch up to him because of insolence now we're gonna do see some reconnections of the ciphers here yep there we go now are we gonna swap targets we're gonna tp to nobody nobody's on that cypher but he can use i've sauron to find somebody else dang what oh wait a minute yo the things are flying around the map today what the heck sheesh <laughs> oh that was so funny dude that was so funny. Teleport into I'm Sauron, into Gun, into just... Oh, that's goofy, dude. That is goofy. And honestly, like, Dancer is better to take the Kai here. This is a slow box. Yep. She's got all these slow box loops set up. Ooh, that's kind of slow with it. You're slow, Hermit, old buddy. Yup. You're slow with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you 4K from this. Ugh. 
Old man hermit, so slow. Break that box, boop. Dude, so many pallets, so much stuff dropped, dude. Oh boy, it's gonna, yep, off to just Eye of Sauron back into the graveyard. We're back on the Mercenary, okay, back where it all began after teleporting two different times. Oh boy, <laughs> he's back uh, He's back where it all began, dude. That's so goofy. Okay, let's see, you gonna get the stun here? Stun, stun, doesn't matter, just stun, just stun. Just stun on the pallet, can't you just stun in the middle of the pallet and will get it no matter what? I don't know why he just waits. It's a stun for so long, so I don't know why he waited that out. I don't know. I'm not a hermit player, but I swear, whenever I try and loop a freaking pallet, all I do is just get stunned and it doesn't even matter. I don't know, bro. Maybe it's just Mercenary's Fast Vaults that has something to do with it. I'm not really sure. Okay, but he's not quite at full presence yet, so he doesn't have a ton of stuns here to work with. Okay, misses that stun, misses that stun. The thing is, Mercenary doesn't even, doesn't even have a charge, so there, now that, that just adds a charge to him. Yep, that's just the charge. Takes the hit, though. Takes the hit. Okay. Stun is back up. One one more hit until full prez. And full, full prez Alva is when he really starts cooking. Because it, it's it's truly night and day. Well, uh, no pun intended because this player's name is night. But it, like uh, a full presence Alva versus, you know, low presence Alva, it is truly night and day. But, um, yeah, I think I think it's too little too late because peep the ciphers. Three are done. Except a decoding. One at 80. One at 50. It's it's over, bro. It's over. The 4K dream is dead. It's it's dead. It's dead. He can literally just get on tram here. He can literally just get on tram here. Actually, no, he can't. No, now he can. No, he's not gonna opt to get on tram. Okay, that's fine. I guess now you know it's actually better for him to stay back over here, because um, if he takes tram, he's gonna go to the ciphers. He wants to. He wants to keep his. He wants to keep uh, the hermit away from his teammates. And yep, he's like, okay, no more damage sharing. None of that, bro. None of that. He know mercenary goes down here, so they're gonna get some extra damage on the rest of the team there. But yeah, four ciphers are done. And one, look at, one is moving so fast because they're duo decoding it. Sheesh. I say that thing was moving so fast, dude. Oh, boy. Okay, now it looks like the psychologist is going to kind of tiptoe her way on in here. Let's see. Yep, Ada is making her way in. This is, I think that's Juliet, too. Is that Juliet? I can't even tell. Uh, yep. He can stun it out with a bunch of, you know, he's got plenty of stun, so he can, he can make it uh, after half, potentially. Nah, it's mercenary chair. This is going to be a four-person endgame, dude. He's just swinging, he's just swinging, he's just swinging, yep, just swinging, just swinging, and they do get the rescue off, and boop, hits the Ada, but they pop, yeah, there's the pop, a little slow, but they get the pop, it's a four-person endgame, yeah, what do you do, dude, you need a 4k, and it's a four-person endgame, the only way is if they were all sharing damage, and he got, like, a detention terror shock, like, twice, that'd be, like, the only way, dude, yep, TP, 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 and, okay, misses the stun, it's over. It's over. This is this is just a, a 1k, but draw at best. He missed both of those stuns. Oh, boy. That that sucks. That sucks. All right. Well, that basi that's basically it. That basically is basically going to just TE at this point. So good stuff, Team TE. The Hermit was, um, you know, Hermit Hermit is just so weird, dude. Cause I swear this character, like, cooks so hard, but only if the first chase just goes well for him. If the first kite goes well, it, it, it's so determined on first... Oh, he's got no stuns. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing here? He's got no stuns. Oh, boy. Like, he, he knows he lost already. He knows he lost. Just break the pallet. Just break the pallet. Like, what are we doing? Okay, I guess he wants to do that instead. She vaults this. She makes that vault. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me. Don't tell me she makes it out, bro. Don't tell me she makes it out. She's going to make it out, isn't she? He messes up his spear bump. She's making that out. That's a four escape. That's actually a four escape. That is an actual four escape. You're kidding. That is a four escape. Oh! 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 It's a, it's a 1K! Whoa! <laughs> All right, well, no four escape, but good stuff. Good stuff to Team TE for winning the set. Very interesting set. Lots of Bane, lots of Bane, but good stuff to Team TE. Anyways, everybody, that is going to be it for today. So I guess thank you so very much for watching. We're catching up on these co-op matches, dude. We're almost done. I think we only have seven more uh, sets to watch, so we are indeed catching up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Whee!